Hey folks, Amber Bradaway here. Great to see you again. What another glorious day here up in Big Cottonwood. By the time this film kicks off, it'll be after the Labor Day weekend. And boy, are we starting to feel a real shift in the weather. This morning it was about 44 degrees. You know, I've got my wool sweater on. It is now fall and we are so excited. You know, usually in the ski industry, a lot of people right after Labor Day, that is when it's sort of all engines firing. It's game on, ramp up begins. So it's a really exciting time. Hopefully behind me, you'll see some of these amazing hummingbirds fluttering around. I've just been so enthralled all summer. Our um, village food and beverage manager, Kristen Hewer, has put out on these awesome um, hummingbird feeders and they have been full all summer. It's been awesome. Yesterday we had a meeting over on Moonbeam. We're sitting in the lodge and what happens but a young bull moose goes running through the parking lot. It was incredible. So I always enjoy being up here and seeing all this great like uh, wonders of nature that we get to be up here in the canyon with. So that being said, what's going on? By the time this rolls, we will have shifted from summer to fall hours. We've talked about this before. So after Labor Day, we're gonna, sh we're gonna pare down. We'll be open Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Because the twilight night riding has been so popular, we're gonna go ahead and extend two Fridays um, the first two Fridays of September, we're gonna keep lifts open um, till 7 p.m. Can't quite do 8 p.m. Just talking to our, our head of bike patrol because it is getting dark um, sooner and sooner. So first Fridays in September will be open until 7 p.m. So come on up after work. More and more sections of our trails are coming online. I rode Quicksilver yesterday. Couldn't believe how much fun that was, being able to see all of the new terrain and all of the work that the team put in. Our new Black Jump Trail has been getting great reviews out there. So there's still time for you to come up and check out um, all the new trails in our bike park. A couple of fun events coming up that I'd love to share with you. We are gonna offer on Saturday, the 14th of September, we're offering, it's called the Golden Harvest Dinner. We haven't done this before. We've done a dinner similarly for our homeowners over homeowners weekends in August. Um, but this year we're offering, it's a, it's a dinner, it'll be based at a St. Bernard's restaurant, which is here at the Solitude Inn. Um, it's a four course dinner um, curated by our head of food and beverage, Tara Jerome, and it's gonna be paired with wine. So it's a wine pairing dinner, and you can go ahead online and find out the details and book your seats now. It is limited seating. I believe we're capping that right around 40. Um, I did the dinner over homeowners weekend in, earlier, or in August. Um, and that was incredible. It was one of these wine and, and pairing dinners and the food and the ambiance, it was great. So I hope some of you will, will consider signing up. And then as we get in towards the end of September, early October, we will have our big Cottonwood um, welcome party. So um, look for the details on that. It'll be a fun event, great music, outdoor. We'll be over on the Last Chance lawn. We'll be, basically, it's the winter welcome party where we're gonna come together at that point. It's really gonna start to be fall. The aspens are gonna be turning and we're gonna be excited on our final countdown. So we are well into our 100 days to opening. By the time the winter welcome party hits, we're closer to that 30 to 45 day mark. The next thing I wanna share with you is, so those of you who've been around Solitude for a long time, you may remember when our powder horn lift was the moonbeam lift. So the current lift at Powderhorn, which is a fixed grip quad, so a fixed grip means it moves at that slower rate, that lift was actually originally installed at Moonbeam. And there were a lot of challenges with that. Um, that fixed, um, a fixed lift is always a challenging lift for beginners. There were issues with how the, the quantity of chairs and the stacking. So the resort in the early 2000s went ahead and decided that that lift was no longer serving the moonbeam purposes. And so that lift got moved up to Powderhorn and it was replaced by the um, detachable quad that we have now. What we have is we still have some chairs from that lift when it was in the original state that we've decided that we've had here, they're not getting used. So we're gonna go ahead and do another chair auction. So look for details in about two weeks um, for this powder horn moonbeam chair auction. We've got about 30 chairs available. And we did this a couple years ago with Eagle. 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put those out for auction. If you wanna buy a piece of Solitude History, we'd love to share this with you. And then what we do is we, all the proceeds from that chair sale go to support the Solitude Community Fund. Um, and that fund has proven to be invaluable here. We use that to support our employees and individuals close to the resort that are in need. And we just recently, I just approved two more grants to some of our employees who have had some hardship. So we'd love for you to get a piece of Solitude History and at the same time help us to put some money into a really great or um, fund that we can put back into our community. That's what I have for you right now. It's this, it's almost September. By the time this airs, it'll be right after the Labor Day holiday weekend. We really appreciate everyone that's been up here this summer. It's, this is my one of my favorite times of year. The weather in September, as it starts to move from cold nights to warm days, the aspens are gonna start turning. And it's just a very exciting, for all of, uh, very exciting time for all of us as we get ready for our next winter season. So I'll see you here next month in, in October. Thank <laughs> you.